ready, ready. Yeah. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I got a special stream. You know, I don't have a lot of time to stream as of late because we all know that, you know, uh, I don't win Hollywood. Hollywood Unlocked, by the way. <laughs> Shouts out them. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I don't have time to stream because uh, I've been moving around in the neighborhood. <laughs> Shouts out Neighborhood Talk, by the way. You know, I leave my streaming to DJ Academics because he streams a lot because, uh, I was on his platform too. Shout out to DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a rare, rare edition of the Ugly Money Podcast. Trigger alert, uncut. Get them likes up. I need everybody watching right now. Every real brother, every independent woman to hit that like button. Get, get, get ugly money. Ladies, if your cat is clean, hit that like button. Get, get, get ugly money. Fellas, if you got more than three inches, hit that like button. Get, get, get ugly money. You got more than fifty-two dollars in your bank account. Hit that like button. Get, get, get ugly money. Now I understand why some of y'all haven't hit the like button because I understand it's times it's hard. You don't have fifty-two dollars. I understand. Go ahead. You can't afford to like the video. It's free, but you can't afford it. <laughs> and ladies, I understand that your baby daddy don't pay child support the way he's supposed to, but you had three babies, Bob. Like the video. Get, get, get ugly Completely money. free, ladies and gentlemen. This episode is being brought to you by Touch of O'Shea, get, get, get and I have a money. gorgeous. A I mean, when I she puts the G in gorgeous. Get, get, get ugly money. From Texas. Get, get, get ugly money. Round Beaumont parts. Get, get, get ugly money. My special guest of the evening. Get, get, get ugly money. My modern woman. Get, get, get ugly money. My independent woman. My boss chick. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Starlito is here. <laughs> Hey, Miss Star, how are you doing? I'm good. You look good. Thank you. You got one of the most amazing bottom lips I've ever seen in my life. I do. Everybody, if you like her bottom lip, go ahead and like the music, <laughs> like the video right get, now. Get, get ugly money. And I appreciate you coming. So you're from Texas. Yes. What part? I'm from Port Arthur, Texas. Port, okay, that's what Bum B from. Get, get Port ugly Arthur money. Is, is, you know, I know what Port Arthur. I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you ever had a trill burger? I mean, you from Port Arthur, Texas, and you I ain't got a Bun B the, burger. I haven't had the Trail Burger because every time I go, it'd be a crowd. It'd be a crowd, and I don't be having time. You so, don't be having time? Nope. Get, get, get ugly money. Like, like Keith Lee came to the Trail Burger or whatever and then turned it up. You know, Keith Lee in Atlanta right now. Yeah. He got these Atlanta folk going crazy. He got he, Keith Lee got these Atlanta restaurants going out bad. Old Lady Gang and turned into uh, not Old Lady get, Gang. Get, get ugly money. Got them real milk and honey. The honey done spoiled. The milk done spoiled. That, that, that ugly I mean, money. Keith Lee got these restaurants looking crazy out here. He trying to got dang. He trying to order his food. He can't get no food in Atlanta. I mean, you know, our restaurants do be on some extracurricular activities sometimes. You know, Atlanta yeah, kind of we kind of we kind of bougie ghetto. We kind of bougie and ghetto at the same time. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, they be acting like they bougie when like we ghetto. I like it. I okay. like it. Well, Atlanta likes you. That, that, that ugly money. I like you. So, um, we got some things to talk about before we get into this uh, debate because mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna lose, uh, fellas. But first, no, we gotta no. do we gotta get the, we gotta get the fifty likes before I start this, get, get, get fellas. Y'all not gonna play with me. We won't hit a thousand people tonight. Get, 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 we gonna set the record tonight. I got I got a I got a nice piece of work in here, get, 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 and I mean to tell you, if you want her to stand up, get, 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 I'm gonna need you to hit the like button, get, 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 and you are gonna want her to stand up. Flavor Flav just uh, sang the national anthem. You saw it? Yes, I seen the video. What do you think about that? I think that why they let him get up there and do that? Like they're like you, they shouldn't be complaining because they let him go <laughs> up there and do it. So he said it was always it, it was on his bucket list of things to do. It's something that he always wanted to do. Okay, so they let him go up there and look. Look a mess. I mean, you know, Flavor Flav is a legend, so you know, legends can do yeah. what they kind of want to do. Yeah, he a legend. He a legend, but still, people are complaining about it and talking <laughs> about the situation. But they, at the same time, they let him go up there and do it. So <laughs> that girl from uh, what that girl from that group that tore up the national anthem that one time, Stan? Um, Gwen Stefani messed it up. She ain't, he ain't no worse than Gwen Stefani. No. So no, it's a no for Flavor Flav. That, that was horrible. 
Hey, look. He has an original take on it. You see how he ran the last part back? In the hole of the bread. Yeah, of the yeah, 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 yeah. He ran that thing back. But it's in, a remix. But in his mind, he, he felt like he did a, a great job. Oh, he killed it. So, in his head. Kudos to him. I'm glad that he was able to do it and he felt good about the situation. Shouts out to that black man being able to do whatever he want to do. In the world, a rapper, the first rapper to ever. How you like that, Soldier Boy? The first rapper to ever sing the national anthem at the Milwaukee Bucks game. Shouts out, Flavor Flav. You remember that show, Flavor of Love? Yes, I was a kid. Yeah, I was watching that show as a kid. I had no. You was trying to get on it too. You was trying. But I love. I love. You was trying to fight for Flavor Love. I love that show. It was so entertaining. So basically, same. Simply put, that um, you would entertain a. A man that you're not attracted to if he got a lot of money? Huh? Cause that's what Flavor Flav that's what women call Flavor Flav. I mean, it depends. <laughs> you would so you would entertain? It depends. Yeah, yeah, I would. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah? I would. So ugly niggas got a chance. They do. <laughs> <laughs> hey fellas, we in the game. <laughs> How ugly? Like a little bit of ugly or just like like but ugly? T tolerable ugly. Like bulldog face ugly. Just a little bit of bulldog know, in there. I don't know about, I don't what if you got a face mask then? I don't know about that one. No, it gotta be tolerable. Tolerable. Uh, what is yeah. tolerable ugly? Um, he can, he can, he can. I mean, I got. He ugly when he wake up, but when he get dressed, he, he <laughs> yeah, kind of cute. Yeah, that type of. Okay, ugly, I'm right trying to get you right. Yeah. I'm trying to get you right. He put it. He, he put it clothes swag, on. He clean. He fresh. Yeah, that's tolerable. Okay, he put his clothes on or whatever. Yeah, you can yeah. even do something with him. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. I can. Do that. <laughs> I can do that. I'm just, you know, I'm just. Uh, Try to get my get my um get my order in before goddamn Atlanta take over goddamn. Before she leave here, cause goddamn when when she leave here, Atlanta got them. Next thing I know, she gonna be at goddamn at Jock House. <laughs> one of them love hip hop niggas. Maybe. They some snipers, boy. Shouts out Jock. Oh man, okay. What else went on in the world today? Saucy Santana wants to meet DJ Academics in the streets. Saw that? Cap. No, but for real though, I feel like I love Santana. So you love Santana? I love him. He's so funny. Like, okay. I just love him. All right. But who beefs with. The situation is just stupid mm -hmm. to me. Like, why, why? what's the beef about it? Stupid anyway? on whose part? The other guy's part. What's his name? DJ Academics, DJ the biggest, Academics. The one of the biggest streamers yeah, in the world. I don't even like him. Oh, we not, we not going to play on X Top? I don't even like him. We're not going to play on X Top? Like Why don't he you always, like DJ Academics? He always beefing with somebody. Why is he, is he beefing with somebody or are they beefing Why with him? Why is he always beefing with Instagram? If I tell the truth about you, if I if you ask me, no, if you put out a project, say you put out an album and I and I am a critiquer of albums and I say yeah. it sucks, am I doing my job or am I beefing with you? He beefing. I, I'm doing he my beefing. job. He don't got nothing positive to say about nobody. So if that's the case, then Keith Lee is beefing with milk and honey. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Stop playing with that top. The man's job is to critique music. He say the city girls are done. That's his. That's his professional critique. No. No. So who you think will win the fight between the Sasha Santana and, and DJ Academics? Who you think will win Santana. in the fight? You think Santana, Santana beat Academics up? Definitely. You must forgot that's still, that's still a man at the end of the day. I know I ain't said nothing. <laughs> that's still a man. Hey man, every time I seen a gay Team man fight, but listen, I want the, I, Santana, fellas. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Team Santana all day. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell y'all something real, gentlemen. Uh, it's been about two or three occasions in my life where I've seen a gay man, homosexual man, mm -hmm. fight. They ain't the ones you want to fuck with, man. <laughs> Hey boy, listen, man. I, I every gay boy I've ever seen fight, boy. I'm talking about he fight like he been fighting all his life. They fight different. I'm trying to tell you that you think it's an easy run, boy. Them, them gay boys can fight now. I done seen a gay boy beat a street nigga ass to sleep. I'm talking about to sleep. And then turned around after he knocked turned around after he knocked him out and started twerking. <laughs> oh God! I'm talking about he got it. He, he beat that boy. The boy was knocked out. He was asleep. I'm talking about snoring, and he stood over top. And you know how most niggas get the more extra licks in or something. No, yeah. he didn't. He didn't get the extra licks in. He turned around and started twerking on that nigga. <laughs> As he should. As he should. Ha! I got my money on DJ Academics though. 
No, negative. I'm going to tell you what that going to do. Negative. At going to wait till they try to pull up to one of his events that he is licensed to carry at, and he's going to shoot them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is not about to fight. He's going to have to shoot Man, you think you see this is the thing about you got to understand people that talk a lot of shit per, are not stupid. They understand that they talk a lot of shit. So if I know that I talk a lot of shit, there's a lot of people that want to beat my ass. I'm only gonna pop out at places that I know I can have my pistol, and then I'ma know my I'ma know my I'ma know my gun rights. I'ma know the gun laws in every city, or state, every city and state. I'ma know. Okay, I'm in I'm in I'm in Georgia. I'm in an open carry state, so I can just. Have this on me. And when them folk come with that shit, act on power. You gonna hit them. How you think Charleston White never got knocked out? But, he from Texas. But why why talk all that shit though when you gotta shoot? I mean why talk all that shit you gotta Saucy shoot? Saucy said Tana said he was gonna beat him up and fuck him in the ass. Exactly. Bro. That's that's like that's <laughs> that's a whole different level of disrespect. Exactly, as he should, because why is you playing yeah, with me? That's a that's a I, I wanna move forward. <laughs> I just, I just want to move forward. I just, I just don't want to talk about that anymore. I just want to move forward. Uh, shout out DJ Academics. I'm pr- I pray, I pray y'all get it together. Thank you for all the support and love for this platform. Academics always show me love. So, uh, yeah, y'all ain't going to play with Act Top. But anyway. Oh, man. Ray J tells Kodak Black to run the fade. What was the reason? Okay, so Kodak Black was recently on Drink Champs. He was on the interview with Drink Champs. Mm-hmm. And Drink Champs had posted, you know, a piece of the content and where Ray J was like, you know, let's get this guy some help because he's obviously not of sound mind. Actually, Ray J's message was kind of like, you know, one of caring, you know what yeah. I mean? And then, you know, he's like, baby, you know, this, you know, Noriega, this ain't it. Uh, you know, we should definitely get this boy some help. And Kodak, <laughs> got down, you know, Kodak, you know, blast back in Kodak fashion like Nick. I'm saying Kodak. I love Kodak. Shout out to Kodak. Yeah, yeah, ugly People just need to just leave him alone. Let him do him. So you think that. If he felt like he needed help, I'm pretty sure he would, he would get some help. Okay. So you think he got his, he got his, all of his. He's uh, okay. That's just how he really. Yeah, that's just how okay. he be. I feel like he's okay. So if you had a family member that you knew was high on drugs and had a drug problem, how y'all know he be high on drugs? I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing y'all about. I said family that. member. I said one of your people. So if you had a family that's member, not his family member though. I'm just saying, if you had a family, okay, if you okay, if you walking down the street and you see somebody that got there running around the street butt naked or whatever, know they on some drugs. Are you gonna try to get them some help? That ain't got nothing, to, nothing to do. With so you gonna keep on driving? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That, that, that ugly That's what's wrong with the world today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what, happened to, what happened to uplift your community? You can't help somebody that don't want to be helped. <laughs> You're okay? right about that. And I get it. I'm pretty sure Kodak feels like he's okay. Ray J going to beat that boy up, though. No, he not. Man, them R&B niggas got hands, no, boy. No, he not. Y'all got to listen. Listen, one thing about rap- rappers, y'all got to understand one thing. These R&B niggas... We usually work out more than y'all rap niggas. They're more healthy than y'all rap niggas. They gotta be physically fit and sexy for the bitches. That's how them niggas be having the muscles. Them R&B niggas and niggas with the muscles and shit. These rappers like they be having guts like me. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. Them R&B niggas, bro. Chris Brown, bro. Chris Brown can play basketball, do karate, box, sing, rap, and make food. Like the nigga can do everything. You don't want to fuck with no nigga like that. He got too many damn different skills. Them R&B niggas be different, dog. That, that, that ugly money. And the rap nigga that just came from the hood, we ain't Kodak Black, no, he ain't never beat no nigga up. Yeah, but the whole situation. Do he situa- look like, do you think? The whole situation, not even you, fighting for what? <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you had to put your bet on who would win between Kodak Black and, R- and R- Ray J, you, you going to put your money on Kodak? Yeah. On a, on a celebrity boxing match? Yeah. You going to lose your money. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and Kodak, go with Kodak. Kodak, go that motherfucker. I'm going to go ahead and go with Kodak. Team Kodak. He already told you he geeked up off that shit. He gonna be coming that bitch geeked up off that shit and goddamn right, Ray J gonna knock him out. I am just trying to tell you. Let's go move forward. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Starlito is here. <laughs> all the way from Port Arthur, Texas. Shouts out UGK. <laughs> Bun B. <laughs> Pimps, long live Pimp C. <laughs> what else came out of Port Arthur, Texas? What else came out of yeah. Port Arthur, Texas? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't be in the the crowds. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be in the crowds. Hey. Okay. 
Let's talk about our first topic of the night. We got a we got some things that we want to discuss. Did you want to start with one of yours, or did you want to start with? Did you want me to start? Let's let's top it off with you first. Okay, we'll start with me. <sighs> it's twenty twenty three. Uh, a lot of times, I'm, I, I, I consider myself a traditional man. Mm-hmm. I protect and I provide for my family. I protect and provide for my woman. And you know, I'm going to do the things that I feel that I'm supposed to do as a man to protect and provide for my family. And a lot of women that I run across like that. They like the fact that a nigga like me pay bills. But, you know, if somebody comes down the stairs... If, 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 if there's a knock at the door in the middle of the night, I'm coming down the stairs with the pistol to see what the hell's going on while you hide in the bed under the covers. So that protection and provision women seem to like, but a lot of women don't like to reciprocate that energy and they don't like to be submissive. So in 2023, what you have is a lot of outspoken, over-talking women, and I'm just trying to figure out what is why is it so hard for women in 2023 to be submissive? It's not hard at all. It's not about it's not about why we not being submissive. It's because these men in 2023 be wanting to be the sus so bad. They be wanting to be chased and thinking women's just supposed to be submissive for no reason. Like why why we gonna be submissive to y'all if y'all not y'all not taking care of nothing? And it's a lot of men these days that not even taking care of bills and, and, and home and all that. So, I don't understand. Okay, so you're telling why, me. Why are men always having, in twenty? Well, you can't answer why, a question with a question, man. Why, why do the men. That, 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 that you're answering a question with a question. Are you answering my question or are you, asking me, are you asking me a question? Don't believe in paying bills. Are you, okay. Well, that's, what, tra- that's, what traditional men is it left in 2023? Well, I'll ma'am, wait. I can answer your question after you I'll answer wait. mine because you tried to answer my question with a question. I'm not asking <laughs> why in 2023 do y'all women have a problem with being submissive? That, that, that ugly why? man. So you answer my question with a question. I'm still trying to figure out my I'm, answer I'm to my question. I'm answering your question, What's but your question? I want to know why. I answer your question after you answer why? mine. Why? I just answered your question. What's your, what was your answer? Because it, it sounded, it sounded roundabout question. and delusional. These, these days, uh-huh. men want to be chased so bad. Uh-huh. Now, now, if a woman comes... What does that got to do with your ass woman, shutting up? That, that, that ugly money. What does that got to do with your ass being quiet? That, that, that ugly Hold on. Money. See what I'm saying? Now they always want to turn the goddamn. No, y'all always want to turn the goddamn uh, tables around on us. Now what do they got? What does what does what this man think have to do with you not being quiet? What does that man? What does that have to do with you not being submissive? I pay the bills in this motherfucker. I pay the bills in this motherfucker. I keep the lights on. I pay the cable bill. I pay the Netflix. I put the food in this motherfucker. All you're supposed to do is cook it and bring me a sandwich after you suck this dick. And you want to tell me all oh, the reason why you ain't submissive is because I feel like this, yada, yada, yada. Bullshit. If you want me to provide and protect like a strong black man, then I need you to be submissive like a strong black woman. Go ahead. Y'all don't want a woman. Y'all want a child. Y'all want a maid. Okay. I can say the same thing. Y'all don't want a man. Y'all want an ATM card. Y'all want a credit card. That, that comes with the man. That comes with the man. And that's what comes with the woman. That, comes that with made the man. services. That, 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 okay. ugly that submission. That, that, that ugly money. That respect. That, that, that ugly money. Especially if your man money. is handling the bills the way he's supposed to handle the bills and handle his business like the way he's supposed to handle the business. What, why am I? Why would I go downstairs if some nigga's knocking at the door? Why would I go downstairs butt naked with the pistol? And go shoot at these niggas to protect you. You want me to risk my life of to course. protect your ass. Yes. And you won't even go downstairs and fix me a sandwich. That, that, that ugly money. <laughs> Do you see the difference? Yes. But you talk about you don't want to be submissive. You want me to go downstairs and risk my life for you. But you won't go downstairs and risk. Hands? You What's won't go downstairs and risk the, the bologna sandwich for me. That, that, that ugly money. See what I'm saying? What's wrong with your legs? You carry your ass down there and pop them niggas then. Nothing. I pray your aim good, because I ain't doing it then. Because if you ain't submissive, I don't feel comfortable being masculine with you. Since y'all don't want to be feminine with us. All right, give us a reason. What? Give us a reason. 
Give us a reason. Yeah, give us I a reason. I gave you a reason. Okay, hold give on. Give us a reason. I'm gonna give you a reason. You see this? You see you see the lights up there? Yeah. You see how you can see how you can see it? Yeah. It's on. Mm -hmm. I paid for that. You see, you see the, you see the, you see the roof right there, the ceiling? You see it's raining outside. You we, see we can excuse, me, excuse we me, can. me, excuse me, excuse me. You see the you see the ceiling? Yeah. That means you you, you inside somewhere. I paid for that. That, that. that ugly money. You see the fact that we on live, you see the Wi-Fi? It means yeah. jumping. I paid for that. How many other reasons you need? Y'all want slaves. No, that, we want reciprocation for the goddamn investment that we make for y'all. This shit don't make no sense. What you think we just gonna give y'all? We just gonna take care of y'all because y'all got some pussy? That, that, that yeah. No, baby, it don't work like that. Every woman got pussy. That shit comes standard and yeah. stock on every woman in the world. That, 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 uh, every woman with every woman came with a pussy. That, 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 uh, That's like radios and cars. Ooh, you got a radio. What car in the goddamn 20th century don't have a radio? Yeah, yeah, so you think that, how much leverage do you think that you possess with this pussy that God gave to every bitch in the world, fat, small, short, tall? You think that this pussy that you got is so special that I'm supposed to pay all your bills? Of course. Bullshit. It's a bitch that turned 21 every day. Next. That, that, that I think it's your turn to ask me a question. Now, what's your question for me for the guys? Okay, so why do I want to know why do men, if a if a man take a woman on a date, why do he think after the date that he's supposed to get some some coochie? He's not obligated to to get some coochie just because you took took a female. I, I heard on your a, question, man. You're trying to answer the question for me. Thank day. you. You can't answer the question for me. I heard He's your not question. Not obligated Thank to get some coochie. Ah, uh, bam. Are you asking the question? or Are you making a statement? Which Go one ahead. is it? Thank you. Don't make me get on my goddamn debate shit okay. in here. Okay, you're saying you're asking why do men feel that they should get some pussy after a date? Yes. What does the term date mean? Going not to eat anything, going bowling, going to go go have a fucking picnic. Okay. So hold on. Spell the word date for me real quick for the people that home. A T E. Dick at the end. You know what you signed up for, baby. Do you think I feel like buying three goddamn shots of tequila for y'all? You know you got a drinking problem. See, a lot of y'all motherfuckers all just want to go on a date because y'all be hungry. Y'all ain't got no food at the house. But you sold all your goddamn food stamps for the, for the 80s. So now you're hungry. So you want to come over here and goddamn eat my chicken wings up. No, ma'am. No, what the hell I want to pay for your food for? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless I got something coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is? Let me tell you something. And there is nothing in this world for free, baby. There ain't nothing in this world for free. Now, you ain't got to pay for it in money. But you can pay for it in something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all I'm saying is this. The more you want this date to cost, because I seen y'all lists. Talking about goddamn uh, 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 cheesecake factory and Olive Garden won't good enough. The more you want me to pay, go up on that goddamn payment. The more cat I'm gonna want at the end. Because I need reciprocation for my money. No. I, I make investments. No. I'm a businessman. No. I want to make investments, proper investments. So if I invest some money in that ass, I'm gonna expect some cat to come back. For some food and some drinks. Well, if you had a problem with that, baby, if you if that was that issue, then you should have pulled out your credit card and you paid for the goddamn food and drinks. That, that, that ugly. But you know what? When y'all go out with us, y'all want Patron margaritas. That, 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 but when y'all go when y'all go out on y'all sales, y'all hoes eating or drinking E and J. That, 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 that ugly. I see these bitches eat drinking E and J at the motherfucking bar, that, 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 but won't goddamn Casamigo margaritas when they come out with a nigga. That, 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 what kind of weird bitch drink E and J? I see these hoes passing out a, a, a bottle of Palmer. Yeah, 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 or whatever, yeah. but you want motherfucking Hennessy, goddamn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want Hennessy when it's time for me to pay. That's no, not you true. pull out your motherfucking black cash app card because your bitch know you ain't got no credit and you pay for it. <laughs> Accusation. False. Accusation. Oh, shit. That's my answer. Yeah, 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 that's that's not true. I don't mind paying. Okay. Yeah. But so you still not getting no coochie at the end of the day. <sighs> What, what incentive does he have so, to pay for so your food? So what y'all gonna do? So what y'all? So what would you do 
if you took a female out on a date, and but you in your mind, okay. the whole time you expecting to get some coochie at the end of the night. Okay. But okay. You don't. What you gonna do? Okay, so. What you gonna do? So. If I'm expecting to get some pussy at the end of the night, that means that I feel like I deserve this pussy. That means that I think I've gotten to a place in a position where I should be able to communicate with this young lady about the night's activities. Yeah. So, for instance, if I'm dating you and I've been dating, I mean, we've been dating and I went, we done went out to Cheesecake Fat. Every- I'm talking about the first date. Oh, the first date. Okay, cool, cool. Well, well I, I might have put on some game or whatever. I would tell the woman like, hey, you know, you ain't got no car. And I'd be like, don't worry about that, baby. Your car broke down. Oh, I see an Uber. Send me the address. I send the Uber. That bitch $42.73. One way. Baby, that's 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 ninety dollars a cat I done paid for. Don't worry about it. That's forty two dollars worth of Uber. All right, boom, I'm gonna send you over here. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna let you know, hey man, go on pack a bag now, cause um when I send this Uber, you ain't going back home till the morning. And she say, okay. Then you already know what time it is. Now listen, 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 listen. She can play the game. Mm-hmm. She can come on. I'm gonna send the four. I'm gonna send the Uber there. We go out to eat. Man, we eat good. You know the meal costs whatever back. We get the motherfucking high. I ain't even gonna say too much, nigga. My 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 bank account. My 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 bank account did all the talking all night long. Them three Hennessy margaritas, <laughs> that motherfucker hookah that didn't even smoke, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker ribeye steak, and y'all know y'all like add-ons, y'all want to get the expensive-ass add-ons. You don't want the coleslaw like everybody else, y'all want macaroni and cheese and You're shit. Right. All right, cool, you got all your add-ons and shit, you don't order the appetizer, didn't even eat that motherfucker. That, that, that ugly money. Hey, cool. Got a big-ass doggy bag to take back to your goddamn hungry-ass kids, cool. <laughs> we gonna get in this motherfucking goddamn, uh, you know, crib. Hmm. I'm gonna get out the shower. She know what she she know what she signed up for. Now I'm only gonna say I'm only gonna I'm gonna be like you. You're a little overdressed, ain't you? She got one time to say, "Oh no, nah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna wear this." Oh, you gonna wear this? Oh no, you need to call yourself an Uber. Well, I can go. That's no problem. You can call me. No, I'm not calling you shit. And guess what? So that's what you're going to do. It's prime time, baby. That Uber $63. That, that, that ugly and I'm taking your doggy bag, bitch. That, 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 that ugly money. So really, what you just did is you goddamn gave me some work to eat, some food to eat at work tomorrow. I'm going to get my money back one way or another. So go on and call the oh Uber God. or the Lyft and carry your ass outside and wait for that motherfucker since you want to be petty. I ain't going to take no cat. We don't take no cat. Baby, I ain't even going to push pressure you. But you better have your motherfucking transportation shit together. Because guess what? When that motherfucker Uber here for $62 and your goddamn cash app balance on number $42? That ugly money. <laughs> so, what, so what if at the end of the night she do give you some cash? You going you gonna to pay for the Uber back home? Yeah, for sure. But yeah. That, 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 that ugly money. That's the deal. Okay. If that's the deal we made, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm about. I'm like, look, don't try to finesse me. I ain't going to finesse you. Now, if you know I want some cat, and I know you want some Hennessy, well, then goddamn it, that's an equal exchange. You wanted to get time? I wanted a good time too. You wanted a date. You wanted to go no, to this. No, you ain't getting no coochie after the first date. After why not? That, that, that ugly why? Why, why? Why would you for put a stopwatch on for your some food and some no, drinks? It, it ain't about food and drinks, baby. It you, is. you feel me? You you fucking with my vibe? You fucking with my energy? See, that's what y'all woman y'all y'all try to that, that, that y'all try to put money. goddamn price tags on your cat. Oh, this nigga only took me on two dates so what or whatever. We, you can fuck with a nigga more in one day than a nigga that you've been dating in one month. Point blank period. If I'm that nigga, I'm him. And if you feel the fact that I'm him, I'm gonna st- and I'm stepping the way I'm stepping, then you better goddamn step right before another bitch step left. <laughs> you feel so, what I'm saying? So what if the first date after after we go on the date and then I end up giving you some coochie, and then after that you don't never talk to me again. That's only one or two reasons to happen. You don't never talk to me again. One or two so that's, reasons that's happen. The only, I'm gonna tell you why. why I'm gonna tell you. I'm, ain't nobody I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell. It's only two reasons why I didn't happen, why he didn't hit you back. Three reasons. Three reasons. Reason number three, he got a bitch. Okay? And you caught him on the right weekend. Reason number two. <laughs> what? Say 
spade. Reason number two is you talk too motherfucking much, and you're not peaceful. Cause some of these hoes be talking, but I done spent forty two dollars on this Uber, so I'm gonna wait to go ahead and get this pussy and and and, and goddamn work through it. That, that, that ugly money. So a lot of y'all motherfucking hoes be getting on nigga nerves. Wow. Y'all be having drug problems, <laughs> drinking problems. I, I done took you out. I done seen your ass got them down three wow. goddamn shots of Parmesan, wow. and then you got them mixed it with the tequila. I'm like, oh, this bitch is a drunk. That, that, that ugly money. Then you over this motherfucker got them uh, picking up got them uh, blunts that's just been left at the club or whatever the other niggas are left, and you done smoke. The whole that, that, bitch, you a J. That, that, that ugly money. But guess what? I'm forty two dollars and seventy three cents invested in this cat, so I'm gonna stay around for it. That's the second reason. And then the third reason, it won't hit for shit. It won't hit for shit. Like this, is my thing. Like if you gonna fuck me, you gotta, you gotta wanna fuck the shit out of me, or don't get me naked. If you not gonna. Have my nose wide open. If you ain't gonna have me fucked up by that pussy, don't fuck me. I don't want no on the fence pussy. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we're moving too fast. Who's Maybe going, I'm forty one who, years old. Who's going if you go, who's going hard? You better first, be going hard if you want date. a second date. <laughs> You better go hard if you want a second date or send ass back to the apartments with that mid cat. I don't want no mid cat. You better come with that Zah first day. Because guess what? The first time the first time I get up in that thing, I'm stepping. The first time I get up in that thing, I'm stepping. I'm Because guess what? I want you to spin the block. So I'm, I'm putting down some of my best shit. I ain't putting it, I ain't, I'm saving some extra, but I'm still, I'm throwing a goddamn. I never had complaints about the maid. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why, that's why men don't call back. Either one, he had a bitch and she called him on the right weekend. Two, the bitch talked too much and she got some kind of problem. Something went going on on the date that he was like, ah, red flag. She drank too much. A lot of hoes drink too much. Yeah. She drink too much. She got a drug problem. She was popping perks in the motherfucking goddamn bathroom. She did a line of cocaine on the back of your seat. I done seen all that crazy shit. These hoes be got no. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, doing, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or three, that motherfucker won't hit and right. Shot it was stiff. You know what I'm saying? She probably should have, you know, did a little swipe test and see how but that thing was. Everybody mid ain't the same. Me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, pussy like chicken. I feel like you know, you it take it take a lot to fuck that up. You gotta really try hard to fuck up some chicken. It's like you gotta really try hard to fuck up some pussy. You know what I'm saying? It's like fried chicken. You gotta really, you gotta really try hard to fuck up some pussy. Like baby, all it gotta do is be clean and wet, and you got some decent pussy. That, that, that ugly if you fuck that up, like all the chicken gotta be is hot. And done. Yeah. If you fuck that up, you bitch, you don't need to be goddamn. You don't need to be cooking all. I'm moving to my next topic right here. Let me see. In this episode being brought to you by Touch of O'Shea, all natural, organic. Matter of fact, Farasha, can you please give me some of that Touch of O'Shea, man? Let me tell these folks about this Touch of O'Shea. We got all these all natural, organic products. Let me see. I got the. Uh, this is the. This is the body silk, candied citrus, right here. This is like the body butter. All organic. All. Vegan, vegan. These are vegan products. We got the Menazi Natural Hair Oil. This for the. Hold on, let me put some in this thing now, right there. Hold on, hold on. Y'all see how my shit get glossy? Ho! Oh, boy, that shit, boy. Listen, listen. You to put it in the head like this. You see me? You see how that shit get the glossy? Hold on. And. The Marion Natural Deodorant. Nigga, they got lemon pepper deodorant, nigga. Come on. That, that, that ugly money. Boy, they got the lemon pepper wings on the deodorant, bro. That, that, that ugly money. You can smell the same thing. Hold on, man. I got to try some of this. Hold on, baby. Hold on. I got to try. Oh, it smell like lemon pepper wings. That, 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 that ugly money. Bro, they got the lemon pepper wing deodorant. That, 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 that ugly money. When a nigga get hungry, just smell Oh my goodness. <laughs> Touch of O'Shea. Make sure you follow them at Touch of O'Shea on Instagram. Official sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast, man. They got lemon pepper deodorant. That, that, that ugly money. So, fellas, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you take that girl on the first date, 
to Wingstop. <laughs> and you get them lemon pepper wings. You get the touch of O'Shea. You get the lemon pepper deodorant. Apply it. After she ate them lemon pepper wings, it's going to be a familiar smell to her. She's going to be looking forward to that. You know, she's still hungry because she didn't want to be, she, you know, she greedy for real, for real. She ordered a 10 piece. She needed about 15. <laughs> Instead of eating some more chicken wings, she's going to eat that dick. Get that, that, that ugly money. Get that, 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 that ugly money. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a motherfucking commercial. Get that, 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 that ugly money. All right. Why do y'all expect us to provide more for y'all than y'all daddies or baby daddies done did? That, that, that ugly money. Oh. That don't make no sense you to me. You ain't got no business worried about the, da- the daddies I'm and, and the baby daddies. Uh, I'm listening. We talk about you, what you're I'm, supposed to be doing, not I'm what listening. somebody else didn't do. Okay. Okay. So you mean to tell me? So if you supposed to be come, if you come into my life and mm-hmm. you expect something, I'm gonna expect something back. Period. Okay, but you don't ex- you, you you didn't expect your baby daddy I'm, to do that shit. It though. don't matter. That ugly money. You didn't expect matter. your baby daddy. Oh, it, it definitely matter. matters. It, no, it don't matter. It, it don't, don't matter. matter. That's the past. You so, talking about the future? I'm talking about the fact that the matter is that your baby daddy was a Nissan nigga. That, that, that ugly money. And I'm a Bentley nigga. And you want me to pay the same price for that cat that the Nissan nigga paid with my Bentley money. That don't make we, no we sense. Upgrade that, that, that that ugly money. Who upgraded that pussy? We I think upgrading. the pussy downgraded after it we gets you. Does not hold on. Am I, am I okay? What car appreciates in value the more it's used? We're not supposed to go. That, that, that ugly money. I would Ford. think that if we you had more Ford. miles on your car, it would we go down in value. That, that, that ugly money. So you mean to tell me that I'm supposed to pay Bentley price for that used Nissan that got more miles on it from five years ago? It don't matter about no baby daddy. That's that the past. Done, that done, that done dropped its own future. transmission in we, that motherfucker? We talking about the future. I'm okay? listening. It don't matter about the baby daddies. That I, I don't, yeah. yeah that, that oh, you upgrading over here. Fact of the matter is, ladies, let me tell you something. We going to see how your baby daddy is. We gonna see what kind of nigga he is. We gonna see what kind of money he bringing in. We gonna see what kind of protection and provisions he provided. We gonna see that kind of shit. Cause at the end of the day, this is the whole situation now. Ladies, if you sit there and the greatest gift that a woman can give a man is a child. That is the sweetest, greatest, bestest gift that a woman can give. And if you give the, the, the best gift you have to offer to a broke ass nigga that, that, that ugly But expect money. me to be this rich super nigga that, that, that ugly. I say bullshit that, that, that ugly money. So why the goddamn Why is it standing so high for me When this nigga goddamn This Jody ass nigga Got you pregnant Shot your club up You held the baby for nine months Shot the motherfucker out the pussy that, that, that ugly. Let him spin the block again Shot another one out the pussy And you expect me to pay top dollar for this shit? My baby daddy wasn't broke when I was with him, so I don't know. <laughs> he wasn't broke when I was with him. Well, looking at those past child support payments, he broke now. I'm not saying exactly you. I just don't understand it. I'm like, yo, these women said that daddy, oh, my baby daddy, he don't do right by the baby. Baby, you fucked him. I don't have those problems. Next. <laughs> She ain't getting her shit fucked up today. That, that nigga probably, that nigga, that baby daddy watching. Yeah, <laughs> like, I gotta go back to Texas, motherfucker. Yeah, nah, what you had said on that nigga show cub? Yeah, <laughs> Say anybody about your baby daddy cub? Yeah, nah, nah, but seriously, in all seriously, like, I do be looking though. I be like, what kind of, like, when I, when I, when I start talking to girls, I be like, yo, what kind of nigga, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of nigga can get you pregnant? What kind of nigga? My baby what daddy kind of nigga broke when I was with him? What kind he of nigga can get you? I left him. But what kind of nigga can get you pregnant? What kind of nigga can hit raw, shoot up your club, make you carry the baby for nine months, shoot that motherfucker out there, and you take care of the baby for life? That, that, that what kind of nigga? Like I'm a look. I'm a look. Like I said, okay, my this baby nigga, hold daddy, on. my baby daddy wasn't broke. When I'm a look. I'm a look and say, wait a minute, man, 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 nigga, thirty-seven years old. Still got nickel bags. 
I didn't know they sold nickel bag. That nigga still selling me it. That nigga stay with his mama or his partner when his mama kick him out. And you think that I'm about to come and just rescue you? That, that, that ugly mama. Y'all cannot judge people off their baby daddy. Y'all judge us off our baby mama. That, that, that ugly mama. All my baby mama think of hell. You know what I'm on. That, 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 that ugly mama. Like Y'all cannot judge us. By our baby daddy. So we can't That's judge y'all. Okay, so you're saying we can't That's judge y'all off y'all stupid ass mistakes in the past? They baby daddies might have motion when they was with them. Okay. Okay. What they doing now ain't got shit to do with us. I'm the same man 10 years ago that I am today. I just might have more money today or less money today. But I still was the same person. I still had the same mentality. I still had the same morals. I still had the same mentality. So you mean to tell me that this nigga had he had a he had a bright future? When you was fucking him, let him shoot the club up wrong, he just became a loser after 30? Potentially. No, baby. <laughs> you chose wrong. You're making the wrong, you're making you're making brash decisions. You're not making good decisions. And at the end of the day, men are judged by their past. We're judged by our past experiences. Look at our jail record. That, that, that ugly mother. If I if I was 18, 19 years old sticking up goddamn banks and I got a jail record or I got caught selling some dope or whatever, I can't walk in this motherfucking company and get a corporate job. Nah, I can't. So why am I That's completely different. Why That's am I judged for my past? Those these are my You're decisions not about though. To judge me off my baby daddy. That's your the past decisions. Why are yeah, you the, the society the judges men for our past decisions. We should judge y'all for y'all past decisions. That, that, that ugly now you went fuck that broke nigga that had his goddamn baby. That, that, that ugly you need to goddamn suffer that, the consequences. That, 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 that so don't walk in this motherfucking corporate nigga house. That, 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 nigga, you about to get some corporate nigga dick that, 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 in a corporate nigga ring. That, 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 that Just like this nigga that was a street nigga that, 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 can't walk in that corporate nigga building that, 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 and get a corporate nigga job. That, 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 that ugly money. The past matters. If our past matters, y'all past no, matters. That, that, that ugly money. Next. <laughs> yeah. Next topic is on that, you. That, that ugly money. Next topic is on you. D. Joe say only God, God can judge. He a simp. <laughs> All right, the next topic. What's your, what's your, what's your topic for us men? Let me see. Huh. Think about it hard now. No, oh, you got one more in though. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, talking to the mic. What is? Oh it? yes. Why do men that why do men that pay bills, other men look at them, look at the other men that actually pay bills mm -hmm. and give women money? Why do why do they look at them like they simps or tricks just because they giving women money and taking care of them? Okay. Why are they considered tricks? Okay. In other words, simps. They call them simp. Okay. So the terminology for simp is a man that does for a woman and she does not reciprocate to him in a proper form or fashion. So for instance, I just met you today. Mm -hmm. And I say, Oh, Starlito, you're so beautiful. I just want to pay your bills. And I don't get nothing in return. You just give me a little pat on the back. Say, thank you, Nietzsche. And you know what? I, you, I sit there and I send, right I there. send the cash out. And you know what you do? You go back to Texas. You fly back to Texas on the plane flight that I bought, first class Delta, back to Texas. And you know what you go do? You go back into that house and you call that broke-ass baby daddy of yours. <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Come on, come on home. I got the rent paid, nigga. Come get this pussy. That, that, that ugly money. You feel what I'm saying? That's, not my That's the bullshit. <laughs> That's, not my That's what we won't be doing. A lot of females do do that. That's what we won't be doing at no point in time. At no point in time. He who pays the bills shall be in them guts. That, that, that ugly money. He who provides shall be pleasure. He no, who no, protects shall men, be peace. Some men just like, to, just like to just take care of women. That's just what they like to do. They and even, they're simple. They, they stupid they as hell. They want nothing in return. Yeah, just That's like it. some women. Okay, they just love to do that. Let me flip it on you. They okay. just love to do it. I got you. I got you. Some women just love to fuck. That's a good man right there. Some women just love to fuck. Yeah, you're right. They just love to fuck. I ain't going to take you to McDonald's. I ain't going to take you... To Olive God, I'm not gonna take you nowhere. 
Man, let's go on the back and I get to it. What's happening with it? What's up? What y'all call them? I ain't got no game for you. I ain't got no food for you. I ain't got no money for you. I ain't that got no just, opportunity that, for you. I ain't got no motherfucking information for you. I ain't got no motherfucking position for you. All I got is some dick. But some women, what's up? That's how some women. Hey, what's up? Though. Sometimes women just want to fuck. Nope. Yes, 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 yes. Women fuck got, for various reasons. You, women might fuck for. Women. Hold on, hold on. I ain't got no clout. Hold on, I ain't got no clout. I ain't got no fame. I ain't got no notoriety. I ain't got no relevance. I ain't got no game. I ain't got nothing but some dick. What's up with that pussy? You have some women that make men pay, and you got some women that just sometimes they just want to fuck. And what you call them? Exactly. So for men, men, so so listen, 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 listen. Women's golden tickets are. Their sexuality, your sex, your sex appeal is your golden ticket. That's that motherfucker that you can whip out at any time. Like, got you, nigga. But guess what my my golden ticket is? This motherfucking big ass wallet I got. That motherfucker hidden. Got you, bitch. So if I'm pulling out this motherfucking wallet. You better be pulling out your motherfucking golden ticket. But you got some men that be mad because they got to pay. And they be mad at the other niggas. He ain't got to pay. He just fucking. <laughs> That, that, that ugly don't be mad because you gotta pay for this. And the other yeah, nigga that be the don't. bullshit. I, I, <laughs> I, I've been both niggas. I've been both niggas. The nigga, the bitch, tell me I gotta pay. Bitch, hey, hey, I'm not your nigga. That, 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 that ugly I, I ain't got that, it. That, that, that ugly bitch, ask me for forty dollars a day for a Halloween outfit. I like, bitch, you better go with you. That, that, that <laughs> that <ugly one. laughs> I ain't got it, oh. I ain't got it. Fuck that, because I ain't know for a fact. You know, if you gotta ask me for forty dollars and I ain't see your ass in four five months. Then that means you've been fucking some broke nigga that didn't give you $40. Yeah, that ugly nah, I'm cool. I'm <laughs> Not cool. The hot 40. Nah, but the reason we call certain niggas Simpson because at the end of the day, man, it's gotta be a fair trade. It's gotta be a deal. Like it's gotta, it's gotta make sense. You want women want men to pour value into them and be good to them, which is cool. Hey, I'm with that. I am actually a hundred zero type nigga. Baby, I don't believe my woman should have to pay no bills if I am able to provide that. Now, I have no problem with that. But at the same time, you better be coming with something. I am just not about to just... I, this ain't the fucking goodwill, baby. That, that, that I am not the one. Salvation Army. That, that, that I am one. not... No, nigga. We is not them people outside of Walmart dinging the ding, 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 ringing the bell. Like this I shit mean. ain't charity, baby. Listen, if I'm pouring in value to you, I need some reciprocation in me. And it better come in a form that I like. That pussy. That, 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 Better be good. You do have some men that just love to just spend money on women. They don't be wanting shit. They in simps. That, exactly. That's not Nothing in That's this world. Man. What in this world is? Good men right what there. in this world is? More men that does stuff like what that. What in this world? You want more suckers? You got to give a woman. You want a time. sucker? You got to give a woman time to just want to. You know, fuck on you. You just can't be just. You got to give a man time to just want to spend nah. on you. You can't just. No, nah. no. Not you got to give a man time to just want to spend on you. Hmm. If that's the case, the quicker you want me to pull out my water, the quicker you need to pull out that cat. Big facts. Okay. That, that, that ugly money. What you think about the men? What you think about females that re- okay, say for instance, I really like you, right? I okay. really fucks with you. Like I'm trying to fuck with you like that. Uh-huh. But I never ask you for nothing, right? Okay. So I don't come off you as, oh, I'm trying to get this nigga money or whatever. And if I don't never ask you for nothing, and you, okay, if I don't ask you for nothing, but you don't do nothing because I don't ask for nothing, Okay, right? okay. What you think about that situation? Uh, am I getting sex? Yeah, but still. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a pussy. Ask I'm, me for money. Get that ugly money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it cheap, baby. Hey, baby, listen. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, queen. Listen to me, because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you like I tell these niggas. Hey, baby, ladies, don't goddamn shortchange yourself or water yourself down. Listen, if you're giving that man peace and pleasure, if you're giving that man cat and a peace of mind, ask that nigga for some money. That, that, that ugly money. What I don't respect is the fact that the nigga that you ain't seen for two or three months, you ask that nigga for some money randomly and you ain't talk to him. No, ask the nigga you fucking. That, that, that ugly money. Because that's what I'm going to tell you. You come back. And he hit me randomly. Hey, can you cash at me twenty five dollars? I can't get up the road, bitch. Call the nigga. You fuck it. That, that, that ugly money. It's just twenty five dollars. Exactly. Tell him that. That, that, that ugly money. That's 
That's all I'm saying. But if you were the one, if you the one sucking that dick, if you the one throwing it back, baby, please ask me for some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause uh, get what? I want to, I want to make sure you good, so you keep on bringing it to some me. Some man that's that's not gonna give a bitch shit. Like if she don't ask, he ain't even finna just. He not even finna bother. He not about to offer shit. Well, you know, uh, Miss Cleo is not related to me, so I can't read a bitch mind. Yeah, yeah, that ugly mother. So closed mouths don't get fed. Now y'all want to open your mouths when something is wrong. Y'all, see, this is the thing I, I see about women too. When they're mad about something, they open their mouth and they articulate that shit to the T. They say it with conviction, and 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 you can hear every word they say. Now they hold when they hold need some, and they gotta be humble. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that. Listen, when they need about a little one fit to the first. And they got to be humble. They don't like to say that shit loud. No, you were just popping your shit when you was mad at me for hugging that girl in the motherfucking club. Now say that shit when it could be. Hey, I, you, you need $150. Yeah, that, that ugly money. Well, there's only one thing that's stopping you from getting this $150. Yeah, that, that ugly money. That motherfucking bedroom. Yeah, that, that ugly money. Now you can walk out this motherfucker with $150. Yeah, that, 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 that ugly money. about the women that's scared to ask, hey. ask niggas for money. I don't think a woman That'd should be scared. Be scared. I think women, women, if you if you know that you haven't given him any kind of reciprocation, any kind of value, you should be scared. You know I mean, you sensible. You should be scared to ask that nigga for money. If you know you ain't giving him, she giving him shit. But what if she? Oh, is bitches, fucking? y'all need to be scared as fuck to ask a nigga fucking? like me for money because I know my value. What if she is fucking and she still scared? Well, she should. She she should be scared. I know. That, that, mean, that means that means that means you know what? That means that cat ain't hitting for shit. That, that, that ugly money. That means that, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Listen, a nigga always got a little piece of change for his number one eater, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Ugly money. My eater could got no, cause I know she gonna do that thing that I like. What you, what you good? What? Why you over here looking like that? What's wrong? And they, they be acting like they be acting like it's such a big thing, right? I just so stressed. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with you, baby? God damn, I'm thinking it's a big ass problem. She need about 20 men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, $75 shirt on a motherfucking light pill. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna get it. That is big. It is big. Hey, hey. That is I'm me. thinking That's this bitch me. needs 75 dollars that bitch need $75. Yeah, yeah, Maybe you'll come over here and put that dick in your mouth and goddamn suck this $75. Yeah, 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 I think women just got to learn how to use they motherfucking superpowers. Y'all got superpowers. Y'all can get whatever y'all want from us if y'all learn how to do it. Your mama taught you. Y'all motherfuckers don't listen. Y'all be too busy trying to be men. No, we not. Y'all too busy trying to compete with us instead of working with us. We you not, can get whatever. We not trying to compete with y'all. Hmm. These twenty twenty three niggas I'm, different. Uh, well, yeah, y'all different. Yeah, y'all different. Maybe as hell. You, maybe you just don't know how to use your super... queen. If you could stand up, get that, that, that ugly money. Just stand up for me right quick. Put it on the camera, okay? Stand. Just stay right. Stay. Stay right there. Don't stand right. Stand right there. Stand right there. Put it on the camera. Stand. Now listen, you you see that? That gives you access to everything you want in the world. That, that, that ugly money. Hold on, don't stand on the screen. That, that gives you access. You can get anything you want from the right nigga in the world. That, that, that ugly money. All you got to learn to do is use it to your advantage. Now, why, if you have such a, a force as that, would you try to be masculine, to be aggressive, and be anything but soft? Because that, my dear, will make a man weak, that, that, that and that money. will make him pull out his credit card. You just gotta know how to do it. I'm gonna give y'all hoes some game one day. I'm gonna put it in. The, I'm gonna put it in the e course. I'm gonna put it in the e course. You just gotta learn how to stay in a woman's place. Like I, said, like I said, they be they be thinking they gonna feel like some simps or some tricks. 
No, but well, baby, baby, you, you gotta use it now. Just because you got it, don't mean you gonna get it. You gotta use that motherfucker. Got to, that, that, that you gotta you, uh, you gotta put that motherfucker to work. That, 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 that you can't just have that motherfucker just because you got it. That, that, don't mean a nigga gonna give it. That, 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 no, you gotta use that motherfucker. Okay, that, there are Hold men on. I hear that I want nothing. And they gonna spend that. You money. keep on looking for those simps, and you gonna exactly you gonna be short <laughs> on the first. You gonna be short on the first. You gonna be in my office talking about. <laughs> I need seventy five dollars <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> yeah, that ugly money. Hey, hey, cause them niggas gonna smarten up, cause I'm, them niggas watching my show and we ain't going for that simp I shit. That hot yeah, you gonna need that. Yeah, she gonna need that hot forty, man. You know what I'm saying? I just believe that. I just believe that it just should be fair. We should be able to reciprocate each other, you know, in some shape, form, or fashion. There's things that I value. There's things that you value. Yep. I should be able to do the things that you value. You should be able to do the things I value. If you ain't giving me what I value, then I ain't giving you what you value. But if you want what I got, you better give me some of what you got. But just because you got it and you ain't used it don't mean you about to get it from me. I got the credit card. I don't mean I'm going to use it. Huh? We'll spend. That's there's, why you're going to be in my office short, $75 short. That will do it. Yeah, yeah, it's always somebody going to do it. Yep, it's going to be $75 short. <laughs> that nigga going to smarten up. Cause y'all be looking for them sucker niggas. Hey man, listen, sucker only sucker for so long. You know what I'm saying? Half the niggas y'all suckers to be old niggas. They about to pass away anyway. Yeah, that's all it is. Y'all be sitting there fucking them goddamn old ass niggas. Y'all don't get worms. Keep on fucking goddamn. Yeah, keep on fucking on them. On them give you goddamn 175. All, right? all he want to do is taste it. All he want to do is see that little cat. Yeah, keep on. Oh my goddamn fuck around and goddamn passed. Yeah, he done passed away. Goddamn, them pussy gave him a heart attack. And then y'all got them uh, 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 associate affiliate the murder, bitch. That, that, that ugly money. I'm gonna pass away after a while, baby. And guess what? You still gonna be in the same situation. You still gonna be seventy five dollars short. Oh my god. <laughs> Nietzsche you got seventy five. I got it. I got it, motherfucker. I'll pull that bitch out. You pull your bitch out. That, that, that ugly <laughs> money. <laughs> and not a minute before. All right, I gotta go to the next topic. That, 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 that ugly money. This is brought to you by the Bundle Gang. They got all kinds of bundles. Short bundles, long bundles. Bundles down to a butt. Bundles to a shoulders. They got Peruvian. They got Malaysian. They got African, Mexican. Any kind of bundles you need, go to thebundlegang.com or follow them at the Bundle Gang. And if you follow them and DM them at the Bundle Gang, you get 20% off if you tell them Ugly Money sent you. That, that, that ugly money. Use code Ugly Money on the, uh, the BundleGang.com site. That, that, that ugly. Buy your bitch some bundles, bro. Women like that. She do not want the bundles that come from the hair store. When Ling Ling them, them shit shed. I'm trying to tell you, boy, listen, I'll tell you that, our story. That, that ugly money. I tried to be a real nigga by my, you know what I'm saying, by my, by my lady some bundles one time. I go in the, I go in the, I go in the beauty supply joint. I ain't going to say which one. I go in there, Ling Ling and them. I say, um, I need the best bundles you got. Ling Ling say, and the virgin women, I got the virgin women, it's the best one we got. I say, how much it cost? She said, two hundred dollar. I get a little two hundred dollar. She said, no, 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 no. You got to buy three pack. Yeah. I'm like, okay. So she got the short motherfucker, the mid motherfucker, and the long motherfucker. I said, okay, I get all the motherfucker. I done spent four hundred dollars on the goddamn bundle. Christmas coming around. Bam, here you go. I got the bundles under the Christmas tree. I'm thinking I done snapped in the motherfucker. I like I got that Indian Remy, that virgin Remy in that motherfucker. I'm thinking this shit hard, right? Baby like, ooh, she get excited. She like, ooh, where you get these from? I said, don't worry about it, baby. Gonna put it in your hell. <laughs> you the she put that motherfucker in the hell. She's like, I am about to um, I'm about to, I'm about to die. That motherfucker died that shit. That shit look like a dead rat. <laughs> Go to the bundlegang.com. Don't do that to yourselves, gentlemen. Do not go to the beauty supply store to get your girl hair. She don't like that kind of hair. That's the, that's the last minute hell. That's the shit that she just put on right quick because she was coming to get the 75. Go to thebundagang.com if you want you, want you a bad bitch. That's, that's what Beyonce shop. Uh, uh, Sexy Red don't shop there. Beyonce shop there. Rihanna shop there. Oprah, she get her wigs from thebundagang.com. That, 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 that ugly money. Official sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast. All right, last topic of the night. Oh, man, this is a good one. Why? Do women hate take, taking accountability 
when y'all wrong. Because we never wrong. We always right. I know I'm always right. That, that, that ugly money. Whatever I say, I'm right. I don't know about other women. But yeah, I'm always right. Mm. I don't say nothing wrong. Mm. <laughs> okay. But other women, they don't be want to be, they don't want to admit that they be wrong. So that's why they don't take accountability. Yeah. But me, I'm always right. You're always right. Always. What's your credit score? Enough said. Bruh, that's not Free game. That's not it. Shots fired. Watch yourself. Shots fired. Free game. Watch yourself. Huh? Oh, my bad. My bad. I forgot. You just put that one in there. I forgot. I forgot what I said. What happened? What's my credit score? Oh, you said you was never, you was never, um, you was never wrong. Okay. Yeah, I'm never wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got their FICO say different. It just say different, got that uh, ugly You know, uh so okay, I know you're never wrong. But why do women have a problem with uh with uh admitting when they're wrong? What is because the problem with that? They don't want to be wrong. When they know they're wrong, it's their pride. Like, we're not gonna admit the shit. Why though? Cause like if I fuck up, I don't got no problem. I'm like, baby, my bad. I fucked up my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah, baby. Yeah, but we women, we don't want to I don't be understand wrong. what's so hard about this shit. We don't wanna be wrong. Man, a bitch will go back to the apartments and be homeless before she apologized. <laughs> oh God. That, that ugly and I've been there. I promise I would not I won't even say nothing to you if I'm no I'm wrong. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, baby, all I want is an apology. This motherfucker will stand on her motherfucking shit, got to pack her shit up, get up, get her kids, a dog, and everything, uh, every, and, and move before she got to apologize. That I'm shit crazy. Violent. I'm not apologizing. See, that's your problem. That, 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 that ugly money. And that's why y'all be having to pay I'm bills. Saying. And that's why you got to pay bills. Because you know what we want? When a man... A man doesn't want accountability to shame a woman. We want accountability so we know that it's over with. We understand that you know that this is not something we're doing. This ain't the type of vibe or the type of energy we own. So we're gonna we need to we need to make sure that you understand that you're not gonna do this no more. So we don't have to keep going back. That's all we want. We want to make sure that the issue is resolved. That, that, that but if you fucking defending that, that, that and being goddamn defensive and want to play the quiet game and got them being prideful and ego full uh, you know on some situations then we know that you know what she gonna do that shit next week and I'm not putting up with that shit for the rest of my life that, that, that ugly money. so you might as well either go and apologize that, that, that ugly money. or pull out the credit card cause you gonna be paying bills that, 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 that I apologize money. if I apologize that mean I'm truly sorry <laughs> and I know I fucked up but no, you're not getting no sorry out of me. That, that, that ugly money. So that's y'all fucking problem. Right, silence. And that's the biggest problem of women right there. They don't know how to take accountability when they wrong. Because a lot of times, it ain't the infraction that y'all do that pisses us off. It's how when we bring a concern to y'all and y'all get defensive over some shit that y'all know y'all wrong at, that be worse than what y'all actually did. That, that, that ugly money. Now, the fact of the matter is that Yo ass got your dirty drawers in my closet. That, that, that ugly money. I don't appreciate that. If I bring that conversation to you, and the first thing you say is, Well, what about your motherfucking dirty drawers that be in the motherfucking goddamn laundry that, that, room? That, that ugly money. We ain't talking about that though. That, that, that ugly money. You ain't the only motherfucker with dirty drawers around this motherfucker. That, that, that ugly money. And I'm like, that, that, that ugly. What the fuck do that got to do with your motherfucking dirty drawers in my closet? Because if, if it was a problem with my doors. because if it was a problem with my dirty drawers being in the laundry room, which it's supposed to be at, you would have said something when I dropped them. That, that, that but now, why do when I have an issue, you automatically have an issue? The same yeah, issue that I have. That's the perfect time. We're gonna bring it up. <laughs> It'll be the perfect time. What you mean? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's that toxic shit these women do, boy. Wait, wait early. We just be waiting to just Put it out. Oh, so y'all hold on to y'all yep. shit. And be like, oh. Yep. The perfect time. Right. Nigga got, no, <laughs> yep. Left the seat down. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. 
Oh, he liking it. He liking. Okay, so he liking that bitch, bitch. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. He better not ever say nothing about me with Darren. That's what y'all do. Y'all sit there and stack y'all shit up. Yep. Be original. Be original. Come up with your own goddamn complaint. Y'all want to have a complaint when we got a complaint. I ain't no. Listen, I be in a relationship. We be happy as hell. Until I got a concern. I, and it be bad because it be like, I really don't want to even have a concern or an issue because I know that it's going to be World War Three. I've had women catch me in the bed with other women. And all they have asked me to do is remove that bitch so they can get in. And it wasn't even a big deal. But let me have a gripe or complaint and bring to that woman. It is World War motherfucking three. I don't do that no more. I ain't like that no more. I ain't like that. No more. I've been celibate since 2022. Um, question: Is it okay for your man to like other girls' pictures? Yes, it is. It's okay. Can I? Can he comment under? Fuck no. Okay, comment under. Get, get, get up in Why? Why can't he That's comment? Embarrassing. It's embarrassing. What do you mean? It's Why embarrassing? are you commenting on other females' pictures? Because it's a nice picture and I had no, something to say. No, no. You can like the picture. That's it. But you can like is, the picture. Comment is, is just you just pushing it. Like chill. So you feel that a man shouldn't like a woman's picture, or he he can like a woman's picture, but he shouldn't comment. Correct. Hmm. <clears throat> and why do you feel that commenting on a picture is wrong? I just told you that's embarrassing. What what I look like going on a Female picture seeing my man putting heart eyes under another female picture. What is that telling well, the female? Barely liking my shit. Oh, so <laughs> so he can't. The woman you sleeping with every night. He can't. He can't. <laughs> so what would make you no. believe? Just because he leaves a comment doesn't necessarily mean he's interested in this girl, right? Yes. Oh, it does. The men comment on the female picture. Yeah. That's different. Oh. That's different. So exhibit A, ladies and gentlemen, she got a picture over here. Get, get, get up, get up, get up. It got 81 comments. And you see all these men up under this goddamn comment or whatever. And she got them the liked all the goddamn pictures up under all the comments or whatever. That's okay though, right? So it's cool like when y'all do it, but it's not a it's a problem when we do it. <laughs> what if in that say it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. So you mean to tell me that a man can't like a comment under a woman picture because it means he want this woman because you know that because you got all these yes, men up yes, under your yes, picture yes. liking the comment in your pictures. Yes. Well, I want to be a fire emoji yes, nigga too. <laughs> I want to be a fire emoji nigga too. <laughs> and the fire emoji nigga, them the ones you got to watch out for. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. The hard eyed niggas, they don't ever got no, they ain't got no chance. The niggas that's hard eyes, the niggas that, oh my God, you're gorgeous. Those niggas, that, that, that ugly mother. Them, them some weird niggas from Africa, they never get in a chance. That, 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 ugly that fire emoji nigga, that, 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 that ugly mother. you gotta watch him. That, 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 that ugly the fire emoji nigga know. That he's just showing attention without looking thirsty. Yeah, 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 that ugly mother. Listen, fellas, don't listen. You listen, right. listen. I'm giving y'all some game. The fire emoji nigga, he a smoother type nigga. That, that, that ugly he not about to let the whole world know that he fucking with Shorty or he feeling Shorty. He just giving her her props. That, 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 that ugly he gonna tell her ass when she butt naked in his bed how he really like that pitch. <laughs> So when you go up under your women's picture, gentlemen, don't worry about the heart eye thirsty niggas. They don't stand a chance. That, that, that ugly the nigga you got to concern yourself with is the nigga with the three fire emojis. That, that, that ugly, that, he ain't doing too much. That, that, that ugly he ain't morning. doing too much. <laughs> but he probably ain't your bitch gut. <laughs> and that's your free game alert. Free game alert. <laughs> I had a good time with you today. You gotta watch some fire emoji niggas. You guys, we got a whole bunch of. Hold on, let me see these fire emoji <laughs> niggas, boy. See, look, see these niggas right here. These fire emoji niggas. See this nigga right here. He ain't got no chance. This nigga right here with these hot eyes ain't got no chance. Never. I got you, ma. This nigga ain't never got chance. Oh my God. He ain't never getting shit. Never. Hard eye, hard eye, hard eye. This nigga, this lame man nigga, he ain't got shit. But this one right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga right here. We ain't gonna say his name. This nigga? 
Yeah. The fire emoji. This nigga, this three, this three fire emoji nigga right here. Let me see. Look. Yup. And she followed him back. That, that other one. That's just like. Oh, that's just like. Yeah, that other one. That nigga got 437 followers and she following him back. <laughs> What's that tell you, nigga? <laughs> Beware of the fire emoji niggas, ladies and gentlemen. Beware of the fire emoji niggas. Oh man, I appreciate you making time to stop by and see us today. You gonna be you gonna stay uh you gonna stay uh hanging out with us uh until trigger alert this Wednesday, right? Yep. You sure you ready? Of course. We appreciate you. That, that, that ugly money. Before we get out of here, give me any shout outs. Uh anything you got coming up, anything you wanna promote, let these folk know what's going on, let them know where to follow you at. Follow me on Instagram, Lolito. That's L I L L E E T O. There it is. Yeah, 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 that ugly money. You got the body butters. Yeah, 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 tell them about the body butters. Yeah, 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 that ugly money. No, I'm telling about yours. Yeah, 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 that ugly money. Yeah, you got all. You got a whole bunch of stuff. Man, well, tell them what we got coming, man. You better promote this shit, buddy, folk. I got some massage oils, Ooh. not body butter. Yeah, 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 that ugly money. I think you know. I think you know. It would be too. cool. That's if you gave home. like a live massage during trigger alert to one of the hosts, yeah, yeah, the big nigga need you. <laughs> Biz don't need no massage. He too small for a massage. You might hurt something. That, that, that ugly you know money. what I'm saying? You got to get them deep tissues and that. That, that, that ugly. Yeah, I could be in that motherfucker. I just, we just lay the massage table down. I look like one of them pigs with the apple in it. Goddamn it! You know what I'm saying? Just in that motherfucker, you just mess. <laughs> You can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast. Trigger alert, uncut with Starlita. <laughs> 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 <laughs>